A very good day to you, and once again, it's just wonderful to have you on the show. It's a lovely, hot summer's day, but there's big black clouds coming up, and they are full of rain. I want to speak to you today about speaking negative words and positive words. You see, I've just spoken something positive. I've just told you that it's very hot, but there's big black clouds coming over, and it's going to rain just now. That's a positive confession. Jesus says it's not what goes into the mouth that defiles a man, but what comes out of his mouth. Folks, I'm telling you, life and death is in the spoken word. I wish I'd known that many years ago. Some people speak themselves into sickness. They speak themselves into poverty. We've got to start speaking the word of God. The word of God equals life eternal. Let's just go to the Word of God and read for ourselves. Matthew chapter 15 and from verse 1. Then the scribes and the Pharisees who were from Jerusalem came to Jesus, saying, Why do your disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and he said to them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God? Because of your tradition. For God commanded, saying, Honor your father and your mother, and he who curses his father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, Whoever says to his father or mother, Whatever profit you might have received from me has been dedicated to the temple, is released from honoring his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. Hypocrites! <laughs> in other words, the Lord's saying, why aren't you looking after your mom and dad first? You're taking your money, you're putting it into the church, but you're not even looking after your mother and your father. You're a hypocrite. Okay? Then the Lord says that Isaiah says, These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrine, the commandments of men. Then he called the multitude and he said to them, Hear and understand, folks. Let's listen to God. Not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth. This is what defiles a man. Then the disciples came to him and said, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? But he answered and he said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has planted, will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both will fall into the ditch. Then Peter answered and he said to him, Explain this parable to us, Lord. So Jesus said, Are you still without understanding? Do you not yet understand that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and is eliminated? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart, and they defile a man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, and blasphemies. Verse 20. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands does not defile a man. Folks, I want to say to you, let's get real. It's not what goes into the mouth, it's what comes out of the mouth that speaks life or death. Jesus said that himself. So don't be so concerned about the washing of hands. Rather be concerned about speaking life. If you can't say anything good about your brother, rather don't say anything at all. But rather speak life and not death. And so until next time, watch out what you say. God bless you. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.